Hey guys, welcome to this awesome video. In the video, we will be reacting to the tallest people you won't believe in your eyes. So, the tallest people. Hmm. How tall can these people get? Right? Can't be too tall. Probably will feel like a mid in these. At least I won't be nuts to them. The tallest people in the world are one. Hello, Hello, you guys. I'm Chisha. She's tall! The tallest men in the world have a major in my previous videos. And in this video, we will meet the tallest women. There's the problem to face the same as those men. Let's fight out together. Are you ready? Let's begin. What, what is particularly interesting is that this girl is from Turkey, Turkey along with Sultan Kosen. They are holding the highest record today in the same country, a rarity in the history of Guinness World Records. Number 6. Rumeysa Kelci Rumeysa Kelci was born on January 1st, 1997, in Karakuk Province, Turkey, and has held the title of Tallest Living Woman in the World from Guinness World Records since October 2021. Previously, she held the title of the tallest living female teenager alive in the world. She is 7 feet 0 feet 7. Medical experts attributed Rumeysa's condition to Weaver syndrome, a rare genetic disorder that causes rapid growth. In addition to her remarkable height, Rumeysa's hands measure 9.64 inch and feet are 12 inch. Rumeysa faces health problems and uses a wheelchair most of the time, but is able to get around for short periods in a walker. In the past, she also encountered bad reactions from the public about her appearance. However, that did not make her uncomfortable. She wanted to highlight the advantage of height. Currently, her height makes people intrigued when they come across her on the street, but most people are kind and supportive when they first meet her. Now, Rumeysa is the holder of five world records. The three new records include having the longest finger, female, of 4.4 inches. She also holds the record for largest hand on a person, female, with her right hand being 9.8 inches and her left being 9.55 inches, and the longest back in the world with a length of 23.58 inches. Wow. Towering over head and shoulders compared to her parents, this massive teenager was once the tallest person in the world at a whopping 6 feet 10 when discovered, and she's still growing in height afterwards. Number 5. Mali Duongdi Mali Duongdi was born in 1991 from Eastern Thailand. With a height of up to 7 feet 0.25, she is officially recognized in the Guinness Book of World Records as the tallest girl in January 2009. This is something to be proud of. However, she feels like a freak after being teased and shunned by her friends. Aww. Mally was diagnosed with a brain tumor at the age of 9. This causes a hormonal imbalance that keeps her from growing. To limit the growth of the tumor and height, the young girl has to live with special drugs. The cost of drugs was so high that Mally's family could no longer afford it. After a period of stopping the drug, Mally's height continued to increase. Her unusual height greatly affected Mally's mental well-being as she was teased by her friends, had to drop out of school, and was afraid of not being able to get married because Aww. of her unusual height and going through a period of lonely time in school. Not only that, but Mally has to cope with a series of dangerous chronic diseases such as high blood pressure, heart disease, and a brain tumor. These are dangerous diseases related to the tumor in her brain. Mally passed away suddenly at the age of 24 on August 27, 2016, after suffering a heart attack. At that time, the giant girl was receiving treatment at a local hospital in Trap Province, Eastern Thailand. She was exhausted from battling a series of serious health problems over the years. She's tall. Number 4. Malvarzada Dydek. My word, she's tall too. Dydek, also known as Marco Dydek, born on April 28, 1974, in Warsaw, Poland, is a Polish professional basketball player. At 7 feet 2, she is known as the tallest female professional basketball player in the world. 
not only famous for her height, but she is also known for her moves on the basketball court. In 2019, she was inducted into the FIBA Hall of Fame for being one of the most prominent players on the European, Polish, American, and WNBA basketball teams. Unlike most tall women, Melgorzada inherited her height from her family. Her father is 6 feet 7 tall, and her mother is 6 feet 3 tall. She has two older sisters. They are also extremely tall and are also members of basketball clubs. But unfortunately, my parents are short, so I inherited that from them too. In 2011, she was in the early stages of her third pregnancy when she suffered a heart attack. She oh. was put into a medically induced coma. But on May 19, 2011, she passed away in Brisbane, Australia. This caused grief not only for her fans, but for all basketball players. According to many, Melgorzada is a kind-hearted person. Aww. Number 2. Zainab Bibi Zainab Bibi was born in 1972 from Toba Taksin, Punjab, Pakistan. With a height of 7 feet 2, she is the tallest woman in Pakistan. In 2003, she was declared the tallest woman in the world, earning her a place in the Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> so she shine that person and that it was like but she made a midget. Her first appearance in a TV show. She has also toured 15 different countries, including France, Saudi Arabia, Great Britain, and Germany. She has made money by appearing in public at the national and international level. Dane. In addition to having to deal with her terrible height, Bibi also has to deal with complications of diabetes and osteoporosis. Her family faced a lot of financial difficulties. However, she was able to get government assistance to help ease her burden. Everyone in her family is of normal height. Therefore, her height is most likely due to a health problem related to the pituitary gland. Her life was not easy, and after years of struggle, Bibi passed away in 2018 age 46, after battling the disease for many years. Rest in peace. Number 2. Yao Defen wow. Yao Defen was born on July 15, 1972, in Fujian Province, China, who made the history in January 2010 when Guinness World Records confirmed that she was the tallest living woman in the world, with a height of 7 feet 8. At birth, she weighed 6.2 pounds. When she was 11, she was about 6 feet 2, and then 6 feet 9 at the age of 15. Many companies tried to train her to become a sports star. However, the plan was abandoned as Yao was too weak. Since she is illiterate, since 1992, the fan has made a living by traveling with her father and performing at fairs. She also decided to join the circus to settle down, but she quit in 2004 after she was subjected to unbearable abuse and ridicule by the circus owner. Yao's enormous stature is caused by a condition called Seven. acromegaly, okay. in which a large tumor in the pituitary gland of the brain secretes too much growth hormone and causes an overgrowth. Luckily, a British TV show filmed a documentary about her and helped to raise money so that she could get proper medical care. The tumor was then partially removed in 2006. Unfortunately, although the tumor was removed, she did develop a host of other health conditions, including a blood clot on her brain. This leads to a very bad state of health. Oh. Yao passed away on November 13th, 2012. Yao's cause of death was not immediately clarified. That's sad. Number 1. Sandra Elaine Allen Sandra Elaine Allen, born on June 18, 1955, is a woman of exceptional height, listed by Guinness World Records as the tallest woman alive and the tallest American woman. Until her death on August 13, 2008, she appeared in many feature films and documentaries, including the films Casanova, Angelina the Giantess. At birth, Sandra weighed 6.5 pounds. Her birth Six. weight didn't suggest much about okay. her future size. Oh. However, when she was 10 years old, she was 6 feet 3, taller than most adults of that age, although mm. all members of her family were of normal height. By adulthood, Ellen was 7 feet 7, 
enough to reach the Guinness World Record to hold the position of tallest woman on the planet. Sandra once said that her excessive height was caused by a tumor in her pituitary gland. Then, she operated on this lump in 1977 to prevent further height. Her bed frame was so big that it couldn't fit in her bedroom. Instead, it must be placed in the dining room. At school, she felt ostracized. She was too tall to match her friends in sports. Sandra died on August 13, 2008, in the town of Shelbyville, Indianapolis, Indiana, USA, at 53. Although the cause of death is unknown, she was hospitalized for several months with sepsis, diabetes, shortness of breath, and kidney failure. That's all for today. Hope you enjoy it. Those were sad, and man, those were some tall ladies. Well, that would be for the video. If you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe and don't forget to like. And I guess I will see you guys on the next time. Goodbye.